Hey brothers and sisters, this is the World News Update. In the Jerusalem Post, it is reported that Iran brags that new missile cities are a nightmare for enemies. Brigadier General Alariza Tangsiri says that we have underground cities which house vessels and missiles. The bragging about the missile cities comes in the wake of a mid-June test of an Iranian cruise missile that was fired out to sea which supposedly has a range of 280 kilometers. Iran also said in April it had increased the range of its naval missiles to 700 kilometers. However, Iran shot a missile in May that mistakenly hit one of its own ships, killing more than a dozen sailors. This is the other phase of Iran's military program. In an attempt to increase capabilities and show off, Iran has made many mistakes and taken shortcuts. It shot down a Ukrainian civilian airliner in January. In early June, a satellite photos also showed that Iran had reconstructed a large-scale model of a U.S. aircraft carrier to practice destroying it. In the Express, it is reported that the bubonic plague Chinese city issues a Black Death Level 3 plague warning. Bubonic plague has broken out in a Chinese city with authorities issuing an epidemic warning after a local farmer contracted the virus that caused the infamous Black Death. The inner Mongolian Chinese city of Bayan has been placed under a level 3 warning for epidemic control. This is the second lowest in a four level system and the hunting and eating of wild animals has been forbidden. Israel successfully launches OFEC-16 spy satellite into space. The advanced satellite will significantly enhance the intelligence capabilities of the state of Israel. Israel launched a new OFEC-16 spy satellite into orbit from a launch pad at Palmaham Air Base early Monday, the Defense Ministry announced. Defense Minister Benny Gantz hailed the successful launch, saying it's another extraordinary achievement for the defense establishment, for the defense industries as a whole, and for Israel aerospace industries in particular, and that technological superiority and intelligence capabilities are essential to the security of the state of Israel. It is reported that Frederick Douglass' statue vandalized in New York Park on anniversary of famous 4th of July speech. The statue depicting abolitionist Frederick Douglass is ripped from its pedestal in upstate New York. Rochester police say it was taken from a park along the Underground Railroad where Douglass and Harriet Tubman helped take slaves to freedom. The damaged statue was found about 50 feet away near a river. The vandalism comes on the anniversary of Douglass's speech delivered to the city called What to the Slave is the 4th of July. That monument will be repaired. Unbelievable. U.S. and China ramp up Ch South China Sea tension with new military drills. Well, the U.S. Navy has dispatched two aircraft carriers and their groups and several warships to the disputed South China Sea. Officials say that they will conduct some of the largest drills in the area that have been seen in years.
The military exercise has been long planned, but it comes as China happens to be holding similar exercises in the same waters nearby. All this as Washington tries to blunt Beijing's brazen aggressiveness. Trey Ext is live in our Middle East Bureau with the very latest on this. Hey, Trey. Hey, Eric, good afternoon. These U.S. military exercises are taking place in the South China Sea, and while they're not aimed at stoking tension, they will inevitably send a message to China. The USS Ronald Reagan and the USS Nimitz entered the area on Saturday, joined by a number of other support vessels. Reports indicate these two carriers haven't operated together in the South China Sea since September of 2014. A U.S. Navy spokesperson said the drills this week were being conducted to, quote, support a free and open Indo-Pacific. The Chinese have conducted their own military drills in the South China Sea over the past week, though those exercises were scheduled to wrap up today. The U.S. Department of Defense criticized those drills last week, calling them the latest in a series of maritime actions that were aimed at making unlawful claims to territory. The U.S. military has asserted their exercises are different, calling them a show of commitment to allies when it comes to regional security and stability. China's foreign ministry disagrees. Certain non-regional countries have traveled far to engage in large-scale military activities and flex muscles in the South China Sea. And this is the root cause of instability in the region. With ongoing tension between Washington and Beijing over things like Hong Kong, trade and coronavirus, these new military exercises come at a very uncertain time for the region. Prominent Iraqi government advisor Hashem al ashami shot dead in Baghdad. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for Hashami's killing. Gunmen in Baghdad shot dead as well, known former government advisor and political analysis near his home on Monday in a rare high-profile killing in the Iraqi capital, the government officials, police sources, and medics said. It has also been reported that a magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake hit 96 miles from Samarang City, Central Java, Indonesia. And that's the World News Update for today, brothers and sisters. And with that, we can clearly see the rapture of the church is at hand. It could happen at any second. But with the time that we do have left, we boldly proclaim the gospel of grace that Christ died shedding his precious blood on the cross of Calvary, paying the sin debt once and for all for our past, present, and future sins, that he was buried, and on the third day he rose again for our justification. If you believe that, you are sealed and saved with the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption, which is the guarantee of our inheritance you are eternally secure. You cannot be taken out of his hands. You can't even take yourself out of his hands. You are eternally his until the day of redemption. You are his once and for all. He paid, he paid for you with a price, with his sacrifice. He paid your sin debt once and for all. That's why there's only one requirement is to believe on the finished redemptive work of Christ alone and not trust in anything that you can do. No repenting of sins, no change in lifestyle, nothing else is going to get you to heaven but to believe on the finished redemptive work of Christ. Trust Christ alone for your salvation because he is the way, the truth, and the life. That is why when the Roman jailer asked Paul, what must I do to be saved? And Paul says, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and, thy, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. He didn't say, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and have a changed lifestyle. He didn't say, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and repent of all your sins. He didn't say anything else but to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. But brothers and sisters, I love you all. Have an awesome rest of your day and God bless.